What's going on everybody? My name's Slender, I'm here on the PTR and I'm gonna show you guys how to get those weapons like Fury or Will of the Ancients, all those great, you know, best in slot items um, that drop from these dungeons. But you know, some of us just don't have the greatest RNG. And I know one person who's run these same dungeons over and over and still has not seen the Fury Warhammer drop. So I'm gonna show you how to get materia and how to convert that materia into these items that we've been trying to get forever and just have been so unlucky. And I'm gonna show you guys that how to, or how to do it right now. So like everything else in the PTR, you know, this is all subject to change and it may not make it, you know, to live. I'm sure the system will make it, but there might be slight changes in either, you know, how much materia you get and stuff like that. So first of all, I'm going to run over and show you guys. I'm just going to use Fury as an example, okay? So again, the reason I'm using Fury is because everybody knows what it is. Um, some people have a hard time getting it, and there's some folks out there that still have not got it. So now, when you go to the crafting station, whether it's a uh, forge, you know, for armors or weapons, the tailor for, you know, whatever else, earrings, um, armor, or the engineering bench for other weapons. They're gonna have a new category. And that category is gonna be called Unique Expedition Rewards. And this is gonna contain all the different named weapons and armor that drops from these dungeons that are named, like Nishatun stuff, okay? Thorpe's helmet from Depths, just regular old Thorpe's helmet. And I've already crafted all this stuff. I well, not all of it, but um, anyway, we're going to look at Fury. So this hammer drops from Lazarus. So you're going to have to come up with 5,000 Lazarus materia. And once you have 5,000, you literally press the button and bam, you can make it. It is that simple. You don't have to have um, weapon smithing 200. You just need to have it at level one, which everybody does. You also do not need to have your weaponsmithing gear. It doesn't matter. So we're going to put on our whole set of weaponsmith. Actually, we're going to take one more look at it. We're going to go down to Fury. And it's going to be 590 to 600. Okay? So even if we put our weaponsmithing gear on, I have a full set. And that should give us, what, uh, 10. So it should be like 600 to 600 now, right? Well, it's not. It's still going to be crafted at 590 to 600. So that's really nice because when you go into this dungeon, you don't have to have weapon smithing to get this hammer. So you're not going to have to have it to make this hammer either. So what you need is 5,000 Lazarus materia, and that's it. And I'm going to show you how to get this materia. There are currently two ways to get this materia that I'm aware of. One of them is by opening up these armament chests or these caches of armaments right here. So when the patch comes out, every single one of your guys' mutated tuning orbs, these right here, they're gonna all turn in to these caches of mutated armaments. So if I log out right now and then wait a while and log back in, I'm gonna have a bunch of these armaments for all these different tuning orbs. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. All right, so I logged out, logged back in, and look, all those mutated tuning orbs are now these armaments. And that, folks, is what's gonna to happen to all of your tuning orbs, your mutated tuning orbs, your Genesis tuning orbs, your Dynasty tuning orbs, your Amrine tuning orbs, and your mutated tuning orbs. So that's gonna be one way to get materia. And I'm gonna show you guys right now. So let's say, well, let's just use a mutated. Now, when you do it, when you open one of these, you're gonna get one type of material. It's either gonna be Genesis, Lazarus, basically any um, expedition that has been mutated. So if I open up another one, it might be Lazarus, there's another Genesis, and there's a Lazarus. So it's as simple as that. So make sure you're getting all of those tuning orbs 
from the faction shops. I wouldn't spend the materials to craft them um, because there's much better. I mean, maybe, you know, the materials that are going away, if they are or whatever, because, you know, we're not going to be able to craft them after this next patch. So, you know, up to your discretion. And I made a video where I opened, you know, a bunch of these just to show you guys what you can get from these boxes. So if you haven't checked it out and you want to know, you know, what are we actually going to get from these boxes? This is what you get. And I'll even open up a couple of the low level ones really quick. But again, I made a whole video on opening all these. So this is what you're going to be getting stuff like this. You're going to get some craft mods. You can get some timeless shards, um, not from the low level ones, but these are what the low level ones are going to be giving you. These are Amory. Okay. But the high level ones like, uh, let's do a Lazarus. So if you have one Lazarus or Lazarus tuning orb in your inventory, after this patch drops, you're going to have these armaments. And these are what you're going to get for Lazarus tuning orbs. You're going to get all this stuff. Sometimes you get a little more. Sometimes you get a little bit less. <laughs> Metallic bone. Remember that icon before? Holy crap. And you know, the funny thing is, when you open some of these mutated ones, you can actually get a freaking common regen potion. It blew me away. I can't believe they still are dropping in these dungeons. And not only that, but they're, they're giving them to you in these boxes. Like, get these common regeneration potions out of here, please. <laughs> but anyway, so that's one way you're going to get materia. And you can see, you know, I've got a bunch of materia down here. There's one other way that you can get materia because not all of us are going to have a bunch of these tuning orbs and these tuning orbs are finite. You know, these boxes are finite. Once the patch comes out, that's it. You're not going to have any more tuning orbs. So this is just one of the ways to get it. And it gives you 100 in, in one shot, which is kind of decent. Now, more importantly, the way we're going to be getting materia and the way you guys are going to be getting materia after our tuning orbs are all used up is by salvaging named weapons and armor and jewelry from these dungeons. They have to be specific to the dungeon. If it's a world drop, it's not going to give you materia. It has to be something that's named and that only drops from Amri or Lazarus. And I'm going to show you that right now. So this is not one of them. This doesn't give you any materia. Uh, we have to find a named item that drops from one of these dungeons. So let's see if we can find one. Here we go. Vision of Viciousness. This is a named item. How do we know that? Because it doesn't have this big, long, procedurally generated name, Defiled Warhammer of the Cleric. I'm going to call these generic items. And these are named items because it has a name, a unique name, Vision of Viciousness. So when you click on it and highlight Salvage, it's going to show you that it drops 30 materia. And it's going to be materia for that specific dungeon, Tempest Materia. Let's find another one. Fallow Fields, where does that drop? Lazarus? So look at that, Materia. Oh, Tempest. Um, and the same thing for Armor. So it has to be named, like uh, the Wisenshire. Here we go, this one should give us Materia for what? Dynasty, right? So if we highlight it, oh, it doesn't. So I guess there's some exceptions. Oh, wow, it just gave me, it didn't even use it. Cool. So let me just find Oracle's Amulet. There we go. That's going to give us 20 materia. So jewelry gives you 20, weapons give you 30, and let's see what armor gives you. I'm going to try to find a piece of named armor. Enchanted earring, that's 20. Featherweight ring, that's 20. Do I have There we go. Nisha Tunes Gauntlets. So that's also going to give us 20. So it looks like Jewelry and armor give 20, and weapons give you 30. And there you go. That's how you get your materia, folks. So there may be other ways to get materia, but as of right now, those are the only ways that I know of. And again, once you have enough materia, you can go to any of these places. Let's go to the workbench where we can make bows and stuff, you know, using engineering. And you're just going to scroll down to Expedition unique expedition whatever what is it called here it is unique expedition rewards and these are all the different things that you're going to be able to craft infamy you can craft it all you need 
is Lazarus or Gen Genesis Materia, you need 5,000 and you can finally craft your own infamy and upgrade it to legendary. So it's actually really, really cool. I, I, I think this is a great idea. I, oh, wow. What is that? Oh, that sucks. But yeah, I think it's a great idea. This is going to really open up a lot of possibilities and it's going to probably devalue crafting quite a bit because anybody's going to be able to get any, you know, damn near best in slot. Like infamy anybody's going to be able to craft infamy so why would you spend you know five hundred thousand gold and you know 300 asmodium to craft a best in slot rifle or to buy a best in slot rifle when you could just craft an infamy just run some genesis you know salvage all the different stuff and you could probably get five thousand in a well not a day but you know what i'm saying at let's just do some quick math here so at 30 We'll just say you're doing weapons at 30 materia per weapon. And remember, it has to be named. That's going to be. I know you guys are going to make fun of me, but uh, let's see. So you 5,000 divided by 30. You're going to need to salvage about 170, 166.66 repeated. Actually, there's a seven at the end. But yeah, about 170 um, weapons to get enough materia to craft your own rifle. But again, the nice thing is you don't need any, you know, furnishing experience, no, in, or engineering experience. You don't need the engineering outfits, trophies. You just need the materia. That's it. So that is how you're going to be able to craft your weapons, your armor. Remember, armor and jewelry give you 20 materia, and weapons will give you 30. And all you have to do is just open up the salvage menu, highlight it, and it's going to tell you whether or not this will salvage into 20 materia. And it's as simple as that. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you want to know some answers maybe to some questions that things I didn't cover here, let me know and I'll hop on here, test it out, and I'll add it to the description. I'll add it to your comment or reply to your comment and I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. You have a great day.